Hello everyone, and welcome to Doom 2. And today, we're going to be trying out a mod titled simply, My House. Now this was a really interesting request for me, because despite this game being almost 30 years old at this point, it apparently still has a pretty decent modding community. And this mod in particular actually only appeared on the Doom World forums in March of this year. And ever since, or at least for the past couple of weeks, you guys have been absolutely begging me to play it. Now the uploader had a story for how this map came to be, which I will now read directly from the forum. Excited to finally release this tribute map. Last August, I lost a good childhood friend of mine, and took it pretty hard. When I was visiting my hometown for his funeral, I connected with his parents, who shared with me some of his old belongings. Among them was a copy of an old map of his backed up on a three and a half inch floppy from high school. Thomas and I were into amateur doom mapping in the early 2000s but I had never seen this map of his prior to uncovering it on one of the old floppy disks. As a way of paying tribute to him and all the great memories we had together, I took the plunge and installed Doom Builder in order to polish up his map and add a few modern amenities for convenience sake. I haven't touched an editor in over 15 years, so it was quite a surprise to find out how easy mapping has become. I may have gotten a little carried away with these new UDMF features, and, as such, the map is designed for GZ Doom. From the text file, Doom 2, GZ Doom Hardware Renderer, one map, not much of a challenge, and roughly 10 minutes of playtime, all difficulty settings implemented, jumping and crouching disabled, free look is fine, and lots of Doom Cute. Making maps of your house was all the rage back in the day, but I feel like this is a pretty adorable and detailed tribute to my friend, and a great way to share something of him with a community we loved. Miss you, Tom. Now I read that story, and I thought to myself, that's really sweet. Going back and finishing up an old hobby project so that it can be shared with a wider audience all these years later? But then I remembered the fact that all suggestions sort of have an innocuous tax on them, where I have to cast suspicion solely due to the fact that, well, you all recommended it. And it was only when I considered it from that angle that I realized, well, this kind of thing is pretty much the beginning of every creepypasta. Although it is sort of interesting to me the idea that I didn't know, which is that it used to be a trend to make your own house in Doom. I've played a lot of Gary's Mod and Source games on this channel, so I'm really not familiar with so much of the culture surrounding Doom. Even though I've always been aware of it, it was never my thing, and it's a little before my time. But I don't know if the culture around Doom itself will actually be relevant here. Let's explore the man's house. Ah, so we have the regular Doom 2 menu here. Let's just start a new game. Uh, choose skill level. Uh, hey, not too rough. Seems roughly normal. Ooh. Uh, that does not look at all like the house on the screenshot. I wonder if that was just like a generic house from Google Images, or if it's like actually a picture, and this is the best representation that they could build in-game. Uh, but that classic Doom music is playing, which is getting me hyped to fight some monsters. Whether there will actually be any, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just supposed to explore, and this is just here by default. Oh, nope. I see bad guys. Can we shoot them through the windows? No. And we do have limited ammo. Now we can exit the level. That's not what we want to do. Uh, let's do this... Let's do this SWAT 3 style, since that's what this is ooh, sort of reminding me of. We got a basement right here. Okay, let's take this floor by floor. <laughs> wow, this place is so huge in scale. But I'm looking at this and trying to imagine what the house would have looked like, and it's actually quite nice. 
just in terms of unique architecture, even if it is quite a bit smaller. Uh, but then again, maybe this is a house as a child sees it. Uh, I actually can see why these sprites might have been pretty impressive for 1994. I mean, it's a lot of detail even for games that came out a couple years later. Oh look, there's even a PS1 on the ground there! That's got to be the equivalent of, like, making props out of brushes and Hammer Editor. I have to say, like, I know some of it is probably, like, modernization because of this GZ Doom software that I had to install. But this is actually quite fluid. I'm pretty impressed with it. Oh, you're stronger. And we can get a shotgun. Uh, we can switch between them and no weapon at all by scroll wheel. A yellow key card, which we can probably use. Oh, wait, that's actually kind of weird if they'd chosen to have locked doors here. But whoa! Okay, well, we've had one jump scare, even if it's not supernatural in origin. I'll tell you, one thing I didn't expect to have coming in is to actually really enjoy the gameplay of this. Having never played a Doom game before this, or... Well, I played a little bit of Doom 3 back in the day, but I have a feeling that's not really what they're talking about. Uh, oh, it's one of you guys. Alright, probably want the shotgun for you. Oh! Whole lot of dudes. We need to even the score real quickly. That's it for our shotgun ammo. We need to just start mashing left click. You guys have lots and lots of health. Die, please. Oop. Almost hit me. You get more shotgun ammo. And what I really need right now is some more health, but I haven't seen any yet. Oh, this basement. Oh, no, it's not a basement, because we can see out the window right here. We've just made our way to the ground level. This is such a cool idea. It's something I've toyed with the idea of doing in Hammer. Oh, there you are. Oh, I didn't like that one bit. You landed some nasty hits on me, but... Uh, after all this, it was actually kind of unnerving to see that room so dark. It actually almost struck me as a game that doesn't have lighting, so... To see that... And again, I can't really give impressions for if something is off, because I'm just not familiar with this game or this engine. Oh, and this just comes right back out onto the garage. One bullet left. Uh... Pickups, please! Oh, well, I still have shotguns. Which I can get more of by killing you. And I'm dead. Burned by an imp. Okay, if we prioritize these guys, we can get more shotgun ammo. You're stuck, so we can kill you. I think that's the name of the game, is we just gotta prioritize our targets. But I'm still getting really messed up, and there's no health anywhere. Okay, came through here. You die. Please, oh, I have so little ammo. Okay, I need you to die. Thank you. Uh... Hi. Oh, here's the computer room, it seems. Can't interact with any of this. E does seem to be interact, or at least open doors. Want to clear all of this out as much as possible. Maybe save our shotgun ammo for now. There we go. Uh, this actually likely would have been the creator's bedroom, I suppose. Although, for the early 2000s, that's quite a large and quite a flat screen. No. Okay. Alright, the gold door, the one we needed to unlock. And we get the red key card. Why did my weapon switch just now? Boom. Uh, but we can't get that, really? Come on. Can we break the glass? No. Ah, uh, I could really use that. Well, red key card for us, but where does the red key card go? Ah, finally a health pack. Huh, now, even though this looks very different from the house we saw on the title screen, that house did also seem to have a red chair on its porch. Ah, right here. 
Alright, well, we're probably gonna want to have shotgun at the ready. Oh, we have no buckshot. Okay. And all this does is give us a blue key card. But what does that do? Once again, I haven't seen a blue door. You know what else gives me the creeps? <laughs> is walking through the rooms with all these dead bodies still all over the place. <laughs> Knowing that this was somebody's home? That the creator is apparently no longer with us? Well, and the nature of the sprites where they still turn to face you as, they, as you pass. Yeah, this actually does remind me of in the early 2000s when I didn't know where to go in a game. And I'd be a little spooked out just wandering the empty environments after a while. Maybe it's this? Ah, there we go. Now, it wants me to stand on that, probably, but... Uh, I was gonna say, what happens if I go running around in the flat grass? But I suppose I don't have a choice. And we finish. 100%, 100%, 100%. Although apparently the par time is an impossible 30 seconds. Well, that was that. I mean, it's certainly interesting, but I didn't encounter anything spooky. Oh, wait, there's more. Underhalls? I thought it was just the one map. Unless it's, like, gone through and I'm just, like, playing regular Doom 2 now. Okay, I'm actually now starting to think that maybe something isn't working properly. Because the text file says no music and... Well, I'm not supposed to be able to jump, right? I've just kind of been walking around shooting different things to see if it would do anything, but nothing so far. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There was actually, I was looking around to see if I had, like, installed it incorrectly or something. And there was actually a, a file in the Google Drive that I downloaded it from titled Journal. And not only that, I've noticed that certain words are actually highlighted in color. Hang on, I'm, just, I'm actually going to read... I guess you're getting a surprise librarian reading in this Let's Play, but uh, here we go. August 4th, 2022. That's so weird to have such modern dates on a game so old. But I guess that adds to the sort of corrupted nostalgia factor. Today, I woke up to the news that an old childhood friend of mine had suddenly passed away. I can't believe it. We were so close when we were younger, and I feel like a part of my life is now missing. I feel so helpless. Like I can't do anything to bring him back. I feel so sad, and it feels like my heart is heavy. I can't help but think about all the fun times we had together growing up. All of our adventures, our secrets, and even our arguments. I miss him so much, and I can't believe he's gone. I'm struggling to cope with this news, and it's hard to stay focused on anything else. I hope that writing in this journal will help me to process my emotions and come to terms with what has happened. I know that he would want me to remember the good times and continue to live life to the fullest. August 16th. I attended the funeral of my childhood friend. I was overwhelmed with grief. As I looked around at everyone else in the room, I could feel the sadness in the air. The service was beautiful, and the pastor said some kind words about my friend that made me feel better. After the service, I went back to my friend's parents' house and spent some time with them. I was reminded of all the fun times we had together growing up. I never imagined that I would be saying, so, saying goodbye to my friends so soon. As I sat with his parents, we reminisced about all the memories we shared. At the end of the visit, his parents gave me some old personal items that belonged to my friend. I was surprised to find a stack of old discs containing some Doom file backups. It was an emotional moment but I'm grateful to have these items to remember my friend by. When I get home, I'll go through some of his old artwork to see what I can recover from the discs. Kind of weird that you never actually use his name. August 18th. 
and I spent some time looking through my friend's sketchbook just in case there was something important in there. I had no idea what to expect, but I was definitely not prepared for the strange artwork that I found inside. The sketches were mostly abstract and dark, with a lot of imagery depicting death, sadness, and despair. As I flipped through the pages, the artwork seemed to get increasingly darker, and I began to feel a sense of dread. I decided that I had seen enough and closed the book, feeling a little bit shaken. After that, I decided to try and take my mind off things and do some Amazon shopping. I need a USB 3.5 inch floppy drive if I'm going to try and recover some of these old files. Lord knows whether anything can be retrieved from these discs. They're nearly 20 years old. Fingers crossed. August 20th. My package finally arrived in the mail, so I spent the day going through old floppy disks. I plugged it in and started to play around with it. I was surprised to find that I could actually recover data from my old floppies. I had some old files from my high school days that I thought were long gone, but here they were. My friend and I used to make Doom maps in high school, and I was so excited to find them again. But then I stumbled across a map that I had never seen before. It was a map of my friend's house. I was so surprised to learn that he had been working on this map in secret. Playing this map made me realize that the best way to honor our friendship is to clean up his work and release it to the public. We never made any of our Doom stuff available to others. I guess we were young and intimidated by the great work being produced by the community. But I'm impressed with the quality of what's currently here in his map, and I think it's a fitting tribute to clean it up for others to enjoy. Here's the first time we see this. House, or no, the second time. House is highlighted in blue. August 25th. I spent this morning doing something I haven't done in years. Browse Doom World for the most recent Doom editing tools. I was amazed to find how easy and accessible the new tools were compared to what I was used to back in the mid-2000s. I ended up downloading Ultimate Doom Builder and Slade, both of which proved to be incredibly useful. Ultimate Doom Builder made mapping incredibly easy and straightforward. I was able to quickly create a basic map without much trouble, and I'm excited to see what I can achieve with a bit more practice. Slade was also much better at managing resources than trying to use Wintex, which I remember using back in the day. I feel pretty comfortable now that I can finish my friend's map and maybe add some new features to spruce it up as well. This entry is crossed out. August 29th, 2022. I had the strangest dream last night about my childhood friend who recently passed away. We were playing Legos in his basement like we used to do as kids, and when I turned around, he was gone. The house was empty and silent. Everything was so quiet and still. I started to smell smoke and hear screams from upstairs. I ran upstairs, and when I got there, the house was just a burned frame. Smoke was getting thicker and thicker, and I could barely see or breathe. I searched for my friend, but I couldn't find him anywhere. I couldn't see anything. I started to panic. And then I found myself outside in the fog. I was alone, but I could hear low growls in the distance. When I woke up, I wished so badly that it was all just a dream. But I knew deep down that it was real. I just miss my friend so much, and it's hard to think that he's gone. There's nothing worse than letting your mind dwell on something. After a while, it starts to consume you. Just now, I decided to order a replacement set of smoke detectors with CO2 sensors. Just in case. Now you say it's real, so I guess he died in a house fire. Well, not just any house fire, but 
a fire in the house this map is based off of. September 2nd. Today I made a post on Doom World showing off my friend's map. There's more to do on the map, but hopefully this is the encouragement I need to finish the map and push it out for release. I thought it would be a simple project, but the more I learn about the new UDMF features, the more things I've been adding to make it more interesting. I want the project to maintain the original aesthetic my friend was working on, but I'm trying to find that fine line between the original vanilla map and a cleaned up release that feels a little less 90s. October 3rd. October already? Been super busy with work, so I haven't had time to work on the map. I did, however, go back and look through the sketchbook again and started scanning some of them into the computer for posterity. As I scrolled through the drawings, I could see that my friend had taken a dark turn. Each sketch seemed more unhinged and disturbing than the last. I felt a chill of worry run down my spine, as I realized that my friend's mental health might have been in a very fragile state. October 8th. Today was a long day at work, but I was really looking forward to coming home and getting some mapping in. I decided to order a pizza first, so I called up my favorite pizza place and placed my order. It felt so good to be able to relax and enjoy some good food. Once the pizza arrived, I set it aside and got to work on my Doom map. I've been working on it for a while now, and I'm making good progress. I'm determined to make my friend proud. I spent the next few hours tweaking and refining the map, and it felt really good to mess with some of the new UDMF features. It spun to align floors without having to draw new textures. Eventually, after a few hours, I decided to take a break and have some of that pizza I ordered earlier. After dinner, I went back to working on my map, making some more tweaks and finishing up some of the details. I can't wait to release it. I think people are going to love all the doom cute elements in the map. October 13th. I know that sharing is a big part of the Doom community, but a small part of me doesn't want people to make modifications of this map, mostly because I feel like this is a tribute and just a vessel for my feelings and emotions. Someone else making changes would feel inappropriate. But more importantly, I feel like something wants me to be the only one to work on it. I can't explain it, but when I reached out to the ZD Doom Discord members for help, it seemed like something didn't want me to upload it for others to work on. It sounds stupid because I ended up uploading a copy, but for a moment I felt compelled to keep it for myself. Fortunately, my post on Doom World was received well, and it seems most people aren't bothered by the idea that an author doesn't want to make their map available for modifications. November 4th, 2022, but quite conspicuously, the 20 is highlighted in red. Almost as if it was modified, or at the very least is otherwise important. I had an incredibly vivid dream last night. Another dream story, but this one isn't crossed out. This has been happening for several weeks now, so I feel I should start documenting them. I'll do my best to recall the events of my dreams. I awoke in a cold sweat, my heart pounding in my ears. I felt a chill run down my spine, and I knew something was wrong. I lay in bed too afraid to move, when I heard a faint, ghostly cry coming from the attic. I had heard this sound before, but this time it was louder and more insistent. I tried to ignore it, telling myself it was just my imagination, but the more I tried to push it away, the louder it became. 
I had no choice but to investigate. I got out of bed and slowly crept up the stairs to the attic, my heart pounding so hard I thought it would burst. As I entered the attic, I noticed a trail of children's toys leading out the window. I followed the trail, feeling a strange compulsion to do so. The trail led me to an abandoned daycare center near the edge of town. I stayed back, Afraid to enter, but I couldn't help but feel drawn to the place. I knew something was waiting for me inside. Something dark and dangerous. I took a deep breath and stepped inside. The place was dark and silent, but as I walked around, I noticed the walls were covered in eerie drawings of children and babies. Then, I heard the sound of a baby crying again, coming from the back of the room. I followed the sound, and when I reached the back of the room, I saw a crib with a stillborn baby inside. I felt a chill run down my spine as I realized what was haunting me. The stillborn baby was the one in the attic. I backed away slowly, my heart pounding in my ears. I knew I had to leave this place, and I quickly ran out the door, never looking back. This is so much darker than anything I was expecting. Guys, it is about 7.30 in the morning, dawn is breaking, just starting to peek through my blinds, but <laughs> it's after reading about that dream, especially being able to visualize it so, well, vividly, having played the level myself once already, <laughs> I just got up and closed my closet door because it was like I could feel eyes on me from it. This is how you know it's doing a good job. But let's continue. November 13th. It's been a long day, and I'm exhausted. I had every intention of getting some rest earlier, but here I am, still wide awake and struggling to keep my eyes open. I can't help but feel like I'm forgetting something, but I can't put my finger on it. I had so much planned for today. Or did I? I'm trying to remember what I did yesterday, but it's all a blur. Was I working on a Doom map? I feel like I must have been, but I can't remember adding any new geometry or details. And all the new scripts seem completely foreign to me. I don't remember writing them. I'm so frustrated, and I'm starting to get really worried that maybe this insomnia is making me crazy. It's late now, and I'm determined to get some proper sleep tonight. Hopefully I can make some sense of all this in the morning. November, this time the 3 and 23rd is in red. I was actually able to get some sleep last night. Also, another altered digit on a dream post. I continue having these vivid, cryptic dreams and they keep feeling more personal and unsettling. I'm starting to prefer the tiresome days to my dreams. I was dreaming of taking a nice hot bath. I felt myself sinking deeper and deeper into the warm water until I couldn't breathe. I tried to scream, but no sound escaped my lips. I was drowning in my own bathtub. Suddenly, I felt a jolt, as if I had been pulled out of the water. When I opened my eyes, I found myself in a subterranean cave, illuminated by a faint, eerie blue light. I could feel a chill in the air, 
and I could hear the echoing of demons in the distance. I tried to scream, but my voice was muffled by the darkness of the cave. I felt a chill running down my spine as I realized I was being hunted by something unseen. I heard the scraping of claws on the rocks and felt the ground shaking beneath me. I was terrified, and I started to run. I ran and ran until I found a small crevice in the wall of the cave. I squeezed through it and hid in the darkness, hoping the demons wouldn't find me. Eventually, I awoke in my own bed, safe and sound. But I couldn't help but feel a lingering fear that the demons were still out there watching and waiting. December 7th. It's 4.30 a.m. and I'm still up working on this map for Doom. I can't believe I've been up this late. I must be exhausted. I'm not sure why, but I'm having trouble sleeping lately. I just can't seem to shut my mind off. I'm really starting to feel the effects a bit, too. I've been more irritable than usual, and my co-workers have said they've noticed a change in my behavior. I'm also a lot more on edge and jumpy than I used to be. I'm playing back the map to check my work, and I'm finding all these new additions I don't remember adding. It's almost like the map has a mind of its own. But that's impossible, right? Maybe I'm just exhausted and not thinking straight. I guess I should take it as a sign that I need to get some rest. December 16th. Today I decided to take a day off work. I was just so tired I couldn't focus anymore. I've been having trouble sleeping for weeks now, and I just needed some rest. I'm glad Christmas is coming soon so I can spend time with my family. I'm looking forward to it even though I don't really feel like being around people. It'll be nice to have some time away from the school and to just relax. I'm sure there'll be a lot of fun, and there will be plenty of laughter and good times. Here's hoping that I'll be well-rested and ready to face the world again soon. Can we attribute to your tiredness the lack of capitalization on the eyes? and the weird capitalization of the final L on Will. December 17th. Don't attempt to type while sleepy. Why would you make a note of that for yourself, and another altered digit, December 18th? I was in the bathroom, standing in front of the mirror, shaving. As I looked at my reflection... I noticed it winked at me. It was so strange and unexpected that I threw my razor at the mirror. I was so scared that I expected the mirror to shatter, but instead it stayed intact. I was even more surprised when I put my hand through the mirror and I could feel the glass. I kept going until I was able to climb all the way into the mirror. It was like a tunnel. When I looked back, I saw myself in the mirror. And this time, I winked back. It was so surreal, but I felt like I belonged there. There was something comforting about being in the mirror. Like it was my home. I woke up so confused and shocked. I still can't believe it was just a dream. As I suspected, since it has always been during dreams that the text is modified. See, the weird thing about this is that, like, reading this as a journal, it almost doesn't compute that all these dates are so very recent. January 4th. Today was supposed to be my first day back at work after the holiday break. But I decided to take one more day off to work on myhouse.wad. I've been spending hours every day mapping out and organizing the project, but I'm starting to feel like it's taking on a life of its own. 
despite being unable to remember making many of the changes, I keep finding new things appearing in the project. I'm starting to feel a little paranoid, like someone or something is watching me and is controlling the direction of the project. It's a strange feeling, and I'm not sure how to explain it, but I just feel like I'm not in control anymore. It's a little unnerving, but I'm determined to finish the project. January 7th. I was driving along a road in the woods, when all of a sudden my car veered off the road and crashed into a tree. Uh, no dream coloring on this one. I woke up to find myself in the driver's seat with an injured and bleeding leg. My head was spinning and I felt disoriented. I dragged myself out of the car and hobbled my way through the woods in hopes of finding help. My leg was in agony and I felt like I was going to faint. Through the trees... I saw the lights from a lonely gas station. I was relieved to find it open, but then I realized that there was nobody there. I had no idea where everybody had gone. As I was standing there, I heard some strange noises coming from the woods around me. I was too scared to investigate, so I just stood there feeling scared and alone. Suddenly, I heard a car in the distance, and I limped towards it. Thank goodness it was a taxi driver who was able to take me to the hospital. I eventually woke up in a cold sweat, not sure if I was relieved or disappointed that it was just a dream. I could say the same thing, because this one doesn't have the red alteration. January 13th. I have an extended weekend because of MLK Day, so I thought I'd try to wrap this thing up before March. I had trouble opening the map. Doom Builder and Slade both reported being unable to locate the file. Apparently, during a previous editing session... I compiled the map as a PK3 file, and both editors were looking for a previous copy in .wad format. I had been reading tutorials on how to convert WAD files to PK3, and I must have thrown everything into a new file at some point in an exhausted stupor, because I don't remember actually converting the project into a different format. January 14th. Last night, I had a nightmare that felt so real, I can still feel the fear and terror coursing through me as I write this. I was on an airplane, and I was the only passenger. I looked out the window to see the ground below, and noticed that the terrain was unfamiliar. I had no idea where I was or where I was going. Suddenly, the plane started to shake violently, and I heard a loud noise coming from the engine. In the distance, I could see a huge storm cloud coming towards me. I tried to communicate with the pilot, but I couldn't hear him over the sound of the engine. The plane began to dive, and suddenly I felt a huge jolt. I looked out the window again and saw that the plane was heading for some kind of structure. I closed my eyes, and felt the plane crash. I felt the impact and heard the screams and cries from the people around me. I then woke up, my heart pounding, and my body drenched in sweat. January 21st. I don't know if it's the memories of my friend that keep flooding back while working on this map, but I need to take a break. This project, which began as a simple cleanup and release as a memorial, has consumed all my free time. Hours pass, and I'm not aware of the time or familiar with the work added to the map. 
I'm going to stop mapping for a while and come back later when I'm in a better place. January 22nd, only one day later. I mapped again last night. January 23rd. And tonight. January 31st. I'll take a break for real this time. I hope it will let me. February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day to the only person I ever loved. For a short time, you brought a little happiness to this painful existence called life. I hope we can be together again one day. In the meantime, I'll keep looking for that someone who can be the ray of light in my life that you turned out to be. Now, this is tinfoil hat since there's not much reason to believe this, but... Are you perhaps talking about Thomas with this? Alright, well, February 19th. I didn't make this area of the map. I'm sure of it. It's still the house that Thomas started all those years ago, but... different. It's changed. The map I've been detailing and cleaning up for release is still here, but is now intertwined with too many tags and sector references to separate it from these new areas. I would be more disturbed if it wasn't so beautiful. February 20th. I took more time off work to finish the map. After 13 years, I've got the hours, but more important, the map needs me. Without my guiding hand, the map doesn't know what to build. But I can help it. Guide it. It seems to respond to my designs, changing them to match my emotional state. It knows what I'm feeling. It knows how Thomas felt. February 26th. I can no longer tell what elements of this map are my friends, which are mine, and what the map has created. I'm no longer afraid that the map is creating itself. It needs me as much as I need it. Which reminds me of a dream I had the other night. I'm not sleeping much, but I recall this one with surprising clarity. It's actually starting to blend over the dates. I was standing on a beach, staring out at the placid water, the ocean stretching out as far as the eye could see. Seagulls cawed overhead, and the gentle caress of water lapped the sand in front of me. I dipped my toes into the water. At least, I tried. I, I can't read what's under that ocean. It was an illusion. I realized everything around me was fake. The trees, the birds, the sand. It was all a one-act play. And I was Willie Loman, a fool who believed in something greater, but there was no happiness to be found. I wandered the set, only to find myself staring into oblivion. It was the end of time itself. No joy, no misery, no sadness. Only emptiness. Men of faith tell us the afterlife is for eternity. But is it possible to keep your sanity for eternity? A day passes in the void. A month, a year, two, five, ten. Is this an eternity? Twenty years, a hundred years, a thousand years? I've sat in this room for a million years now, entertaining the same thoughts, pondered the same questions, and ruminated on every mistake in my life, anguishing over them for centuries. A billion years now. Double that. Now double it again. Am I still nowhere close to the end of eternity? I pray for death, but it never comes. Just me and my thoughts and my mistakes and my insecurities and my regrets and my loneliness? Somewhere in another dream, the version of myself that winked back is sitting on the real beach, happy and content, knowing life is finite. There is no afterlife, and happiness is found in the small things around us that we can control. Happiness has to be fought for. 
March 2nd. I was wrong. The map is using me. This morning I loaded a Doom Builder backup file from late October and spent a few hours preparing the map for release. I tried to release myhouse.pk3, but I kept getting a file in use error. I don't think the map will let me. I'm going to post it on Doom World tonight, but I don't want anyone playing anything other than the original vanilla release. Whatever this map is doing to me, I can't let it do the same to others. The PK3 file is in the Google Drive. I've been playing the WAD, but that must be the backup. I know what we have to do now. But still, a file in use error. I don't need to be a Doom Mapper to understand that. Even if it is only stored locally, it means someone somewhere is currently accessing that file. March 9th. I swear I uploaded the safe copy, but my house PK3 was uploaded by mistake. I don't know if a lot of people were able to download the map before I fixed the link, but hopefully I caught it in time. Uh, let's have a look at some of the additional folders in this drive. I guess that's them together. A couple of old pictures. Huh. Well, they're not actually close up, but yeah. Oh, that is so weird to actually be able to see the house in its state. And, oh wow, maybe the wrong time to point this out, but it really is very, very nice. Parade, uh, what looks like the downstairs area of the house being worked on. Some old high school photos, <laughs> a little kitty. Hi, little booper, hi. Oh, and an obituary. Thomas Allard, age 35, died in his home on August 3rd, 2022 in Oswego, Illinois. A celebration of life will be held from 12 to 4, with a service at 1 on Sunday, August 7th at the Dwight Olson Center. Caring for Thomas and his family is the Shirley Funeral Chapel. Originally from Plano, Illinois, Thomas, or Tom, was born on June 14, 1987. Growing up, Tom ran cross-country for Plano High School and participated in the Debate and Model UN. After graduating high school, Tom attended Beloit or Beloit College and received a bachelor's degree in geology. He then moved to Wyoming and spent several years working for the National Park Service before reconnecting with his high school crush and moving back to Illinois to be with them. Tom and his partner, partner, that wording, hmm, moved to Oswego, where he started working for the city as part of the grounds crew. Tom was loved by everyone who knew him, and his smile and laugh was said to be infectious. He will be missed and deeply remembered by everyone in his life. Tom is survived by his parents, Dale and Judy Allard, sister Suzanne, brothers Joel and David, and his cat Scrambles, whom he spoiled rotten. Ooh, Scrambles. Now let's have a look at two of these other pictures, because I know I missed them. Unknown stopped for directions. That's weird. That's a labeled Polaroid. But why would he label that? Actually, now I'm thinking back. In the, didn't he have a dream about getting into an accident and then making his way to an abandoned gas station? Now look, there was also the one of, like, the fire and of crying coming from the attic. At a certain point, he started to believe that his friend was speaking to him through the game, but maybe his dreams were this friend's memories. And here's what looks to be a very ominous, almost liminal look at the house again. This map was designed based on the house, so it's very strange, almost feels like I have these memories. To go back and be able to see it in real life, 
having first experienced it as a low-detail Doom map. Screenshots, these are all the ones that uh, were uploaded to the site itself. Although I do have to check. <laughs> a minigun? Where did you get a minigun? And actually, that room is far darker than anything I had seen when I played. Actually, the whole house is empty and the lights are out. Hang on, wait. I, I should maybe take a closer look at these. I don't think I remember this room at all. I do remember that artwork, but not this room. Hmm. And let's have a look at that sketchbook. That looks to be a key card. Some horrible Cerberus creature. And finally, the house itself. Well, myhouse.pk3, the only one left. This one's actually a full 68 megabytes. Only 3.6 on the original file, meaning this contains quite a lot more content. Uh, assuming this will actually open, assuming I'm using this correctly. It did actually open. Uh, why? I felt this before, but now... That chair is just so perfectly positioned, I can't help but feel like there's someone staring at me from it. Oh, let's start a new game. Uh, put it on... Eh, we'll put it on normal, sure. We'll, we can have a challenge while we're doing this. And there we go. And there we go. I only got 24% of kills, no items, and no secrets. There was more. Hang on, we've got to go back. Oh, wait, hello. There's something out there now. Let's get over there. No, now it's not there. Huh. Can I interact with this at all? I don't... Wait. They're all back? Why did that happen? Yeah, if I go through the bottom, they're all back here. Why? Now there's health, too. Oh. I now know how to thoroughly Shrek these guys. Oh, and you're new! You're- you're brand new! It actually respawned everything because I came outside and... Yeah, I, I definitely am just scratching the surface. Now let's try out this minigun. Oh! You know, more than anything so far, this is just showing me that Doom 2 was a fun game. And I don't have the key card. Or no, 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 no! It didn't say- wait! It didn't say I need the yellow key card, it said I need the yellow skull. Was that picture always there? It looks like a person. No time for your sass. Ah, uh, there's the yellow skull. Oh! Okay. And I don't think that rubber duck was there either, although I'm not entirely sure. Well, let's continue to fight, I guess. Wait. Hmm. I don't know if that mirror actually worked before, if I just wasn't paying attention. Die. There's that piece of artwork we saw in one of the things, but it was in a completely different location, a place we haven't seen. Now I'm wary, thinking about an attic. Actually, now that I think about it, that dream of the baby crying in the attic... Well, what about that open ceiling tile in the garage?
Well, I've got the yellow skull now. That honestly jump scared me. Die. All the health I can eat. Don't need it right now. I'll save it. And now that I've been through that, I can open up the closet door upstairs. A closet door, which now leads to the attic. So dark. Hmm. I really expected it to pull something right there. What is this? A covered mirror? And a bed in the shadows all the way in the back that suggests someone was sleeping here. Playing this now, after everything we've just read, after everything we've just seen? I mean, it would have been an unnerving on its own, but... I I'm really... Wait. Maybe I just haven't... No. No, we... No, we, we can't leave! The door is gone. The garage is replaced with this closet. A green shirt, which I just picked up. What? Okay, maybe I should start checking more things. Maybe some more things are interactable? Like, I've been wondering the whole time, what is this on the table? Now, the PS1 is now an Xbox. This is the place from the screenshot. The place that wasn't in the map, and what is this? This is a real comfy, cozy-looking room, but... Why wasn't it there in the original? I want pop. That's all it says in the top left. I can't interact with this computer at all, though. Nor the fireplace. Uh, I didn't see. Was there a message when I picked up the shirt? I can fill up the sink with water. like an alternate house. Some of the same artwork is hanging on the walls, but this is really strange. The kid needs a milkshake. I I'm thinking back at this point to how the person said they were being guided by the map. They seemed at different points to believe that they were being guided by the map, that they were being guided by the spirit of their friend to complete it the way they intended, that they were three different entities entirely, or even that the friend wasn't there at all. And through that lens, I'm having a real hard time interpreting this. That other side door now gone. So many doors at this point, I don't even know what was here and what wasn't. What was that noise? What is that noise? There's a secret room behind this bookcase. To what looks to be cat beds. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! What are you? 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 Are you just a. You are not just a regular imp. What is that sound? The skies have gone blood red! Is there anything else here? Oh my god. Oh my god! What are you? What are you? You're not a regular Doom enemy! Something gonna come from behind me? Do I... I think I saw something else out there for a second. I think I saw something else out there for a second. 
Is there health I can grab? There's shells I can grab. Oh my god. There's nothing else here. There's nothing else here, but something's still making that sound. Something's still doing that groaning. Minigun, 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 minigun. Helps to have such things in a time like this. Oh my god, this is bringing back memories. I'll explain when I'm less panicked. I'll explain when I'm less panicked. Let me out, let me out, let me out. This is the dream! This is the dream of the flames, the structure of the house, the people screaming. It's playing out in the map. The memories which may belong to the friend. Who else? Who else? Now I feel ruined memories. Oh, I didn't get to see it. I'll have a look at it in freeze frame later. Who else? No. Innocence lost. Oh, this whole place. <laughs> is this maybe... Is this maybe what his last moments were like? Or at least his perception of them? Tarnished history. Let's head to the attic. Oh no, we can't. There's actually nothing here. Oh, the sky is dulled. Now it's over and we're just left in the essentially smoking ruins of the house. What we've seen throughout the course of this is the destruction of a household and the destruction of those who lived here. All the memories, everything up in smoke. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Exit is on the other side of that gap. I almost walked right towards it, but it looks like we can jump down here. I don't know if we should. Oh, but we shouldn't. There's so much we haven't seen. Oh, the static, though, it's building and building. Ugh. This seems to be taking so many pages from the Book of Liminal! Architecture? A dog? Hello? Oh, if I, if I hadn't been so used to ready or not, I might have reflexively shot you. Oh, but you're a friend, huh? Oh, wait. This is like a twisted liminal version of the house. Simultaneously inviting, yet still having that same texture of the ashen ruins. Okay, doggy. Uh, I'm certainly happy to have a friend in this moment. I I've always responded so well to these sort of dreamlike moments in games. I don't know, something about them just speaks to me in a way that I feel like is hard to explain, but I do relate to. Uh, but before I move through there, let me explain what I meant before when I said this is bringing back memories. See, I remember a time- Hi! We're not alone here. 
Uh, but what I was saying is, um, I remember I was like seven years old living in my old house, and I was downstairs in the den, and I was playing games on the computer, and suddenly the power went out, and it was late in the day, so it was like super, super dark in there. And I remember that, like, in the dark, I just, like, instinctively, I don't even remember it happening, I just spun the chair around, flew out, up the stairs, and out the front door. Having that happen in a setting such as this, in a way such as that, all the screaming and monsters, it just instantly recalled that memory. <laughs> Hello? Music, what are you doing? Dog, I still hear you somewhere. Where'd you go? Hello? Okay, there you are. Have things changed? I honestly can't tell. I... Oh! Whoa, not a doggy, not a doggy, not a doggy, not a doggy! Not a doggy. Okay, get away from me, get away from me, get away from me, get away from me! Get away from me, get away from me, I don't have much minigun ammo left. I'm on easy and I can't take you down. Ow, 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 come on, stop, 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 stop. I need health. I badly need health. Die, please, die, please, die, please. You have so much health. You are just straight up not dying. I'm dead. Bad doggies are bad doggies. So what happens now? Uh, it's slowly fading to black. Well, that was a bit of a betrayal. Are you the same dog? Oh. We're in a hospital. And my guy appears to be quite confused about this whole situation. Can we move? We can. I, I, I have no weapons. And every room says 332 from the look of it, no? It continues on from here, but that's 332. This is. Hmm. Can't open that door. Or that one, but I can look in. Guess I'll just have a look at each of these. You're flatlining, but you're sitting straight up. Who are you meant to be? Oh, a key. Key for room... Uh, a, j a jumble, just a jumble. I feel like exploring, but maybe I shouldn't? You're, you're turning to face me. Refill needed. Perhaps we... Oh. The window is completely bricked. That's what we needed. We needed the defibs! Okay, uh, let's continue shooting this guy. Continue shooting this guy. Maybe that's just what happens when we die from now on. And I have a whole lot more minigun ammo. And there we go. The music sounds like it's all completely glitching out. I can't be surprised by anything anymore. And maybe we should have killed you when you were small and cute. A pumpkin. 
Pumpkin Rick. <laughs> okay, well, that's a bit of a modern reference. I can go back down to the basement, although I really don't want to. This, however, is stuff that I really, really do want. What is this thing? Plasma gun. Okay. Kind of weird that I'm learning to play Doom 2 from this, considering... Well, this all probably lands a bit better if you're actually so well-versed in this that you're nostalgic for it when you play it. You were tied to the other one. Oh. Good doggies are good doggies. Another drop down there, which is probably the one we need to take. It's a good thing we don't take fall damage. And it's really loading me up on ammo, which has me really nervous. That should not be possible. That should not be possible! Oh, we're seeing the same place from above. A vantage point, but nothing else. Here we go. He wants us to just keep descending and descending. Dropping us into the same place a little to the left each time. Oh, that music, it's just so... It's so relaxing, almost like the kind of thing you'd fall asleep to, but in this context, I don't know whether to be sad or scared. This will just keep looping us around this way, I bet. We need to take that elevator, or escalator, sorry. Lebanon, Port of Alarda. Aviation history. <laughs> My god. I, I mean, I, I guess I could have predicted that result, but geez. An airport? Why this? Why this one? There's some health available right here. That same car parked outside. I wonder if these aren't all just strong memories. We know he was an animal person, had at least one cat, maybe two at a time in the past. Strong memories of, well, a fire and maybe a dog at some point? Maybe a dog who died or maybe one who died in a way that he blames himself for, maybe even had to do it? And every once in a while, that music becomes so much more hostile out of nowhere. Are we ready to board? I don't think so. I don't think so. There's more here. These shirts all bloodstained. I've collected another one, but no message that time. And the kitties. There was also another dream of being in a plane crash. Right? So what dreams have we seen represented? We've seen the photo of the gas station. That wasn't in-game. That was in the Google Drive. We've seen the house fire. We've seen now the plane crash. Refill needed again. That is so... Un... I was gonna say, it is so unnerving not being able to see myself in the- No, 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 no! I, I think I just, like, tabbed out of everything. Oh my god, I might have hit every key in the world simultaneously. Ow, 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 
Oh, good God. All right, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to alt-tab out again to go make sure I didn't mess up my recording. Oh, jeez. Wow, when I try to alt-tab back out, I just can't use my mouse at all, so... I just have to tab into Audacity and then tab back into OBS to verify that I'm still recording. Good God, what a... Mmm. One-two punch. First the panic of not being able to leave, and then the panic of not being able to leave what's here, although... I guess I did finally get my pills in the end? I need to heal up so badly. Anything for me here? No. This one's all good, and... Now you are too. Uh, and this leads to nowhere. Crouch disabled. This is actually starting to remind me very, very much of Cry of Fear. Could also take the escalator up. Explore what's up here. Yes, health. Just what I needed. Oh, how did you know what to get me? Anything in here? No. Now, for a moment, I mistook that for the legs of an imp. All these are real places, except for this one that just reads... Home. And it's Kassenleld. Well, I guess it's our time to board. Knowing what's coming. No one in the pilot seat. Oh my god, what are you, what are you, what are you? Yeah, uh... Oh, no, 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 no. There's nothing we can do. Just like the dream said. Come for me. Come for me. I don't know if I'm more comforted or less by the beeping of the emergency indicators. There's nothing we can do. Oh, here's an image I've not seen. A plane in mid-flight. Totally empty and completely darkened. This is actually a special kind of helplessness. But not as helpless as this. <gasps> and I turn around and the plane is... gone behind me. And I guess one way or another, this was the route home. The ruins are completely overgrown. It's been some time since I last occupied this space. But what's the significance of... The plane taking place after the fire. Unless maybe I didn't die in the fire. Maybe, maybe that was just another significant event in my life. In any case, we can now roam about the property freely again. Although it's no less dark down here. That's just a void. I have to check for what may have changed. Because I feel like adding up the commonalities of what we see between these different worlds, that's going to be what tells us what was truly real and what we're left to interpret. We've already been all through up here. The attic is almost starting to seem like an outright fabrication of the map itself. Although that hole is still up there. They bulldozed the whole thing and put the lot up for sale. You'd never know what happened here.
I just had to try to see if maybe it wouldn't pull a fast one and have me be able to roam the landscape. And we're done. We apparently found zero secrets. Wow. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess that was my house. Dot PK3, not WAD, as everyone claimed, although I suppose that's part of the whole experience. With a game like this, I would not in the least bit doubt that there's more to go back and see. And the reason why it's such an amazing experience is because it's essentially by far the best application I've seen of an interactive lost media creepypasta. It was so interesting hearing all the fuss about this thing, and then going and playing the WAD file and thinking, that was it? Like, what's scary about this? I mean, people told me it could be completed in about 10 minutes. And, oh, here's the part where you guys respawn, because I'm still playing PK3. Uh, but, yeah, that's the thing, is that this was such a good way to do it, is for me to think that I missed something, go looking, and find just so much more. Getting so invested in the story, and then, only then, realizing there's another file to play, one much bigger than the previous one. And in that way, it, it actually almost turned me into the protagonist of a creepypasta. It was just such great, what I would almost describe as like meta pacing, to play the level first, just think, okay, that was a pretty fun Doom map, but what am I missing? Go looking, find what I could essentially refer to as the creepypasta itself, along with the supplementary material, as I know, sort of, what to connect these things to. It's almost like it gives me the nostalgia that they would feel seeing these things come to life. Starting a new play session now, and at 68 megabytes, I'm certain there's going to be a whole lot more to this. I'm going to go ahead and clear this again, but this time my playthrough is going to be focused far more on just trying to interact with things. Pressing E, doing everything I can to make sure we turn over every stone. Uh, now we could interact with these sinks. Uh, that rubber ducky looks pick up but it doesn't seem like we can. Oh, this minigun is just so much fun to use. Actually, this is kind of making me want to play Doom 2016 again. Uh, any other fill up -ables? Oh, this is fill up -able. Okay, anything interactive, like, not a lot of things are interactive, so anything that is, I have to take as important. Another sink right here. Another sink right here. Oh, the water levels are, like, higher. But I still can't... I still can't do anything with that. I I'm risking the run here, but maybe it has something to do with the alternate rooms that spawn when this is... I need a blue skull key to activate this object. Now, I've also been wondering about this thing, because this is very conspicuous. Oh, it does actually reveal something! It's also a much more fluid animation than I was expecting. I thought, if anything, it would just disappear. You're reflecting stuff that isn't actually there. Coming through here afterwards should give us the access to the alternate house. Right there. I'm kind of hoping there's a sink here. There is. Maybe that's what we need. Grab the milkshake. Uh, it's been a day, so I don't exactly remember where everything is or how it works. Okay, you are now completely full, and I can run- uh, Hello? 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 Okay. Old, old childhood fear came rushing back. The tub is not your buddy, the tub is not your pal, and you can indeed be sucked down the drain. Well, we got the duck, but what- What happens if we do get sucked down the drain? Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Sound. Sound, sound change, sound change, sound change, sound change! This whole place is flooded. Uh, 
And we can't move as fast as we're wading through. I suppose that'll be to our advantage when the place burns, then? This door left ajar. But we can't get in. Okay, well, every time the state of the house changes, I have to go through and investigate everything, but... I was going to say my instinct is to get to higher ground, but that's not going to be possible. Oh, look at the way it pours over the edge of the railing. What have I done to this place? Oh, we've got to pass under the waterfall. Into the flooded darkness. Hang on, what is that down there? Oh, it's, a, it's just a reflection. We can no longer access there. I think we're actually locked out of the fire now. Anything here? The mirror is broken. Does that have something to do with what I did upstairs? Or does it mean something else has happened? Oh, wait, no. No, 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 this is new. This wasn't here before. Ah, uh, we've sealed ourselves into a watery grave. Either that, or this is how you access the pool rooms. Now, this is something that's really interesting, actually. There's that nostalgia factor of all of this being done on a two-decade-old version of a three-decade-old game, and yet it's taking so much inspiration from modern liminal concepts. Before, that whole area almost seemed like liminal hotel, and now... now the pool rooms. Is it, oh, God, there's something here. There's something here. I can hear it. Uh, minigun out. Minigun is the safe bet. Ah! Oh! That was just whiffs of smoke! They're completely invisible until they attack. Can we even... They are there the whole time. But I'm not sure if we can actually damage them or not. I'm not sure if they're taking damage because... Well, they don't have a physical form. They seem to swirl away right at that last moment. I don't hear them now, so maybe that's all? And the soundtrack now is actually reminding me quite a bit of Silent Hill. Alright, what's down here? Oh boy. We can go up or down, but something tells me it doesn't matter. And I think I'm gonna try going up first. Can't go back the way we came. Yeah, I definitely think we're forced into one direction. Yep. Just as I suspected. Let's try going down now, although I kind of doubt that it actually matters. It allowed me to open it when I went upstairs. Can I... Yeah. If I keep going up, then it allows me to open the door, yes. I can step back outside. But nothing more to be done out here, so only going up allows progress. Oh, I see. We had to go up, then down. This is like a parallel... Wait a second. A door straight back into here, and it's only now, just because I thought that was a mirror at first, it's only now that I'm remembering back to that one dream, that most important dream, of winking back at the reflection. Of the reflection being the real one. Oh, and I actually don't have the opportunity to go back and explore the rest of that back area, the pool rooms. 
Tell you what, for the sake of exploration, I'm actually going to start this again. But when I have the opportunity to make these decisions, I'm going to leave a manual save. Uh, endless locker rooms, barely lit. Some shotgun shells, at least, that I don't need. And more of you guys. I can hear you. Or just the one I didn't kill. I can go back here as well. Looking out onto a bright, clear sky. Let's continue to search these back halls. This has to be the right way, right? branch off even more in completely illogical ways. We should have intersected with the old area by now. What if I just keep, yeah, continuously trying to go down into the right? We find a showery area, but no pickups. And it keeps spitting me right back out. Right there, what was that? What is... What are you? You don't look friendly. Ah, uh, you leave quite a bit of blood behind. I kind of think we should probably deal with you before trying to jump in there. Then again, bad things tend to happen when I jump into water thus far. Yeah, you just ain't dying. That was a lot of ammo. I think we just have to take the plunge. Yep. Oh, you're guarding something. There's something here. Oh, you're attacking, you're attacking. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Come on, let me out, let me out, let me out! I can't climb the ladder. You're taking health, and you're finally dead. Okay, I didn't even see what it was I picked up. Oh, you like exploded into a bunch of smaller ones. Is there still something there that I can like get? Oh, that's, wait, that's 3D. Hang on, wait, no, go down, go down, go down, go down. Go down and forget these guys. I hope there's no drowning damage in Doom. I would never have noticed this if I hadn't jumped in at the exact right angle. And there's that clear sky above, this time separated from us by an iron grate. I've gotten completely turned around. Even deeper. We can swim up and get air, but do we actually need air? Yeah, we do, we do, we do, we do. We actually do need air. Okay, bad time to figure out that you do take drowning damage. Oh, come on. I hope there'll be some health somewhere soon. Nope, this doesn't, this, I'm dead, I'm dead. Okay, there's you. And we may not want to kill you, uh, because then all your little babies will be released. We need to take air whenever we can get it. The second air pocket is a trap. All right, jump down, grab this thing, roll for... Mm. Okay, well, we got that thing now. Keep going, keep going. I have a save in this world now. Come up here for air. I don't know if it matters how long I'm up for. This is taking way too long, and we're going too deep. No, 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 go, 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 go. I'm about to start taking damage. Thank you. Oh, that is so creepy. This, ow! What just hurt me? A staircase that comes up from within a pool. <laughs> oh, you guys over there! Can we hit you with this? You're some of the ones that appeared during the fire. Okay, we gotta come through here, but you're gonna kill me. Die. Oh, they're actually taking quite a lot of punishment. What are you? What are you? What are you? What are you? Just keep going. 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 And we come out right here. Into this place, skipping the fire. 
This isn't just, if you do X, Y will occur. This is all actually interconnected. Which actually makes sense if you consider the idea that this whole mod is some kind of way of sending a message. I think this is probably where we're going to encounter Cerberus. Actually, I just remembered that, uh, yeah, you actually existed as a sketch, didn't you? Uh, you're just staying right there, which is good for me. There's Pumpkin Rick. Now, I have just now consulted, uh, consulted a wiki for advice on, like, things to try. I haven't read too much, uh, but I read a little bit about this section, and basically what it said is that I should try and avoid killing either of the dogs, which, uh, his good news for the German Shepherd, because I was actually going to try killing it to see if that would kill that one. Now, the cool thing about this area is that a lot of things are locked at first, but if we access them from the right side, such as by accessing different areas, uh, we're actually able to open them permanently, which makes things permanently easier for us. Here we go. So this... <laughs> That's annoying. This room only appears if you look at it from just the right angle. If you go up those stairs and go just the right way. I'm gonna start opening this back up. Uh, can we make that? No, we cannot. We cannot make that. We cannot make that, so how are we supposed to do it? That doesn't make any sense, and I have no health to do this with. Oh, come on! I hate platforming so much. Why did it have to be here? There we go, finally. All right, now what is this all about? Oh, it's so weird being able to tell sort of where you are based on which dog you can hear on the prowl. Kitties love tunas. That they do, but what does this have to do with kitties? And here we are, straight into the airport. Nothing in this whole restaurant area. Yet coming through these places multiple times and trying to sort of unpack a little more each time, that's the cool thing about these sort of ARG-like games. It's the kind of thing that makes you feel like you're sort of picking apart a puzzle. Try not to alt-tab out again. Die. Die. There's one behind me. Die. Entirely, sir, please. Thank you. And we punched out of that quite a bit better than the last time. And now we're feeling fine. I, I talked before about how this is like a special kind of helplessness, but... This is kind of what I imagine the transition into the afterlife might be like. So dark and forlorn, so lonely and, well, I already said it, helpless. When you couldn't leave if you wanted to. It's cozy, but you feel like you're headed towards something bad. Let's get ready to fight these guys. And away we go. And we land straight on our bed. Yeah, this looks to be the same ending as before, though. Yep. Uh, and I, I didn't comment on this before, but there's something real strange to me about having it play that same normal Doom music, that upbeat, like, you did it video game thing as you finish that experience. It's almost like a way of invalidating your experience. I mean, I sometimes talk about how some jump scares don't validate your jump scare by playing a scare chord. Well, this doesn't validate the emotional experience you've just been through by playing the normal music. I'm gonna head back, and this time, I think I'm gonna focus more on the mirrors. Because there's gotta be something to do with that, right? In the regular WAD file, and indeed even on a first run, these mirrors aren't reflective. So maybe there's something I can do with them after I've unearthed whatever's 
upstairs? At least that's all I can think of. Maybe if I don't pick up the blue skull? I don't know if that has anything to do with anything. I can't walk into that one. I'm not going to do the sink thing right now in case it precludes this idea, but it is worth noting that if I can climb up onto here when the water fills, I might be able to, like, be on body height with that mirror. But I'll try the other ones first. Oh, we can climb up on this toilet. Okay, I'm not going to flood the house at first. I'm just going to grab this thing. And let's try that. Let's try that since the other one isn't working. Oh, yes, yes, yes! But I... For a second I thought that was me, and then I remembered that I don't reflect. Die. I'm gonna have to go through this again. Oh, everything is, uh... Quite understandably mirrored. All right, it's been a while since I've actually had to do any combat, so it sort of caught me off guard. I wonder what the mirror attic will be like. Maybe we have to exit through through the mirror up there. Maybe that's how we do that. Uh, I wonder if we can... Okay, no, we can't sink into the... Whoa! We can't sink into a mirror bottom of the bathtub. Also, that sound... Is the soundtrack playing backwards? Drunk Buddy. Okay. Well, there are artifacts here. Oh, this is so disorienting. We can, we can step outside, too. Into the garage? We can probably even leave. Let's not do anything hasty, though. We can still see that there's enemies down below. And a fog hangs over this whole thing. And no health packs to be found here, of course. Oh, wait. No, they are there, but only... Oh, I see now. What we were seeing upstairs was actually a look into the mirror reality. In fact, implying that everything we've been seeing in these mirrors was the mirror reality. That blue tinge that we see in them, that's not just an effect of the glass. That's actually... That's actually us seeing through into the other world. This is what we've been seeing the entire time. If we head into the attic, not only do we see, as expected, the health drop, there's a crib here. A crib like the baby in the dream. Can we get that? We can't. It, it wasn't meant to be. Okay, that's speculation fuel. But remember, though, in the dream, it also said something about a trail of toys leading out the window? Alright, well, since I don't see that, I'm wondering if maybe I wasn't supposed to activate something somewhere. Had another look around, but didn't find squat. Can I walk through this? No? Maybe I can go back where I came in? I've actually found that it, it doesn't seem to be like other trial and error sort of ARG games where it's like you're locked into different types of runs. So far, it actually seems like this is all quite interconnected, so maybe we... Hmm. Maybe this is our trail of toys. Looks like colored little plastic balls, but... I can hear that static. That's accessible to us now. It ends right here in the computer room. No, it does not. Uh, is this supposed to be like a McDonald's, like, play tunnel? That's exactly what it is. Oh, it's so dense, blocking my movement, making me so slow. The most horrifying artwork of Shrek I've ever seen. Big Adventures Daycare. Oh my god, I had one of these things. 
there's... And there's that same familiar car. I wonder if that's not meant to be his, but like the more we go through this, like I've been going with the interpretation that these dreams are all Thomas's memories. But maybe they're not. Maybe they're his... Wait. This actually leads up and out. This is still the house, just up and out into the regular house as we know it. Maybe... Maybe this is like a previous incarnation of the place? From before Thomas lived there? Or maybe it's what happened to it after, I don't know. All this blood on the ground. This, formerly a kitchen. Every time I think I have a handle on this, it just throws more my way. Can't get that, it seems. Let's I'm like a child trying to reach something on a high shelf. Autographed by J.J. Hardy, thrown through this window. Maybe thrown through and harming one of the babies? And more imagery of broken mirrors. So that's the thing, is that, listen to that music, look at these innocent things all spattered with blood. If there was one feeling that I would use to describe this entire mod, it's loss. A girl and a turkey. 1984. 1984, this would have been three years before Thomas was born. Adult coloring books. Adult coloring books? Maybe this is a business that his parents used to run. Oh my... And a clown suit. Which, unlike the other clothes, I cannot pick up. And I can't open this door, whatever it's meant to be. Well, things have changed. Half expecting things to have changed. Can I open these doors? No. Oh, this... yeah. Okay, you gotta be memeing on me, right? I'm fighting- I'm fighting Shrek as a boss in Doom. Alright, well, I brought the tool for this. Are you kidding me? Th this is what the haunted, self-guided map wanted. It insisted on Shrek. Don't you want, like, another pinky or maybe a bunch of shotgun enemy? Nope, only Shrek will do. Well, I've trained for this since childhood. However, this was not part of the simulations. Gate key. Alright, well, let's get out of here, I guess. Straight back into the closet. Now, unable to return. Run across all this, dodge the fire. What are you? But the question No, 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 no! Come on! Ah, oh, I have to reload. I've just realized only this time around the Shrek is actually gone from the wall. Okie dokie. Uh, but I think I have to go back and get that door to appear, yeah. Out we go. I'm ready for you. Now, same as before, we'll try to grab you from a distance with these. As long as our aim is on point, you actually don't take too much. Small bursts rather than volume of fire, that's what we gotta do. Uh, which is appropriate, given that we don't actually have that much health. Guys, sirs. Question is, how are we actually gonna get over there to grab the thing? 
side. All of you. I don't want to overcorrect and uh. Eh, drop like a meatball. How do we actually get over there? Okay, game saved. Maybe it's a leap of faith? Nope! Oh wait, actually, we can see through the cutout there. Maybe there's something to do with this? Maybe no? Well, this one's a different color though. And it is directly in line with, actually, it looks like another one of a different color, but it could just be the shading. Ah, uh, this is the leap of faith. Okay. I do, it's a wedding ring. This is telling so many stories here. And now to my least favorite. Why don't we try for once in this playthrough using the plasma gun? That's a good one! Ah, uh, why did I not try this thing sooner? Answer, by the time you get it, there's not really a whole lot to use it on. Oh, there's the pills. And out we go. But everything's the same. At least as far as I can tell. Oh, wait, no. I actually remember having a look at this in my first playthrough and noticing that certain things were missing, but they're all here now. Yeah, I think... Wait. A fish? A baseball? I know a baseball was one of the things we picked up. But the rest doesn't actually seem to... I was wondering if maybe this... That's different, though. That's different. This still appears to be the same. That I know is different, but I don't... Can I interact with this? No. This is definitively different. This actually shows that area outside. Maybe something to do with that thing, or... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute! That looks like it's showing a gap in the fence! Hang on, wait, 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 wait! I always feel so nervous. For some reason, I've gotten it into my head that leaving the house causes, like, the level to end, but it's not. It's when you go through there. Okay, nothing spawned, but maybe we have to feel our way through? Uh. Maybe I have to do the fire thing? It's not actually- wait, I felt something. There's like a hitch right there. Yes! Plasma gun at the ready! Hello? Oh. What? What? Okay, I feel like I should probably pop a save here. There we go. And just WWW. WWW. WWE. This Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Come see the exciting rematch, The Librarian versus Shrek. Oh, it's a roadway. Once again, under that giant moon. Ah, oh, I, I was being carried away without pressing W for a second. It's so glidey. It looked like there was maybe something to the right. I'm surprised it's letting me wander this far. Uh, let's sprint, sprint, sprint. No, this is just a fence indicating where this entry is to the forest. Once again, completely silent. Uh, I'm so glidey all of a sudden, it's like my legs are just carrying me of their own volition. Lights up ahead. 20 miles an hour. Lights up ahead. I'm betting. I'm betting that's going to be the same car. Yep. An accident. Blood leading into the forest with lights over there. 
Oh, this is the dream! This is another dream, just like every other single one of these things has been. An accident, and then finding the gas station. But that one must have been real, like, that must have actually happened. That's the one thing that's making me think that these are memories rather than just dreams, because... Well, Thomas had a Polaroid of this place. Oh, huh, I get it. The S is blurred out, so it doesn't say shell anymore. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, this is walking that fine line of copyright that, uh, that mods are able to tow. There's a bus stop over there. But let's check this place out first. Do we want anything? I mean, we've been picking up various food items all along the way, but, uh... <sighs> this blood trail we're following is that of our friend. I don't know what we're gonna find when we reach that bathroom. Ooh, it's my turn. I picked up a controller. A bathroom very similar to the one in our house. Oh... Yep, 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 yep. How did I know? But what did that controller do for us? Wait, can I go back? Uh, it, it, it treats that gas station almost as if it were some light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, exiting onto the dark night is quite spooky. Oh, I thought there was someone there for a second. A shadowy figure, but... It's just a shattered side. Watching the moonlight? We can actually continue further down the road. But it only brings us right back here. Like I said before, the game almost seems to consider this like a light at the end of the tunnel. Something that was clearly very important. It all seems to head back to this gas station. Like, that's what it's all leading to. The answer is there. It has to be. I had another glimpse at the wiki for tips, and uh, it recommends... It recommends trying the mirror world there. Uh, which is not something that I would have thought of. So we can access this at any time, come through. Thankfully all the monsters in the mirror world are still dead. Uh, but if we come down here, uh, we'll have to open this one as well. So let's just mash E along the side here. There we go, it does exist. Straight through. And is it just me, or is this one even darker? This time we'll want to make a left, although presumably all roads do lead there. The fog so much thicker. Really, really got startled by that sign. Why is this the same but worse? It's not just the darkness. It's anticipation. Maybe if I try going the normal way, but in the mirror world? No, this pass is still here. There's just no... there's just no car. I wonder if this mirror world... well, I almost think of this map itself as a mirror world. I mean, if it is supposed to be based on a real location... No, the car is here. This time intact, and... And the gas station, a crime scene. Music playing backwards. We can't enter, but maybe from around the back? Yes. Is that a rocket launcher? I think it is. Does that mean there's gonna be a huge fight soon? And just what is this alternate world crime scene? Uh... 
Even the sounds of the doors opening and closing are reversed. Is the window still broken on this one? It is. Oh, I can open it, but I can't actually leave. I'm actually stuck here. Which means it wants me to notice something else. Maybe something will have changed out here? Oh wait, you see that? I don't, I don't remember if that was there before, but it looks like there's smoke, like, on the other side of the trees. Oh, there's like a- there's a gap! 77. Alright, just, uh, have my rocket launcher at the ready. A recently left fire. S plus A. S plus A. Ooh. I think... Wait, hang on. Back to the Google Drive. Yeah, the Google Drive lists the creator as Steve Nelson. So that's probably S, but... What about A? A beach. But one side of it has been washed away. We can go out through here. It's a fake set. It's all a fake! Even, even in the 2D sprite world of Doom, this is not real. It's a false ending. A movie studio with a clapboard labeled My House. And we've turned off the sounds of the beach. Okay? It's, this seems to have more to do with the friend. Or rather, the uploader, rather than the original creator. It's almost like it's completing his story rather than Thomas's. Oh, I just clapped to black. Uh, nothing's happening. My UI is still there, though. Alright, I just had a look at the wiki and learned what I need to do. So basically, first, I need to go into the mirror version of the gas station world, but I should not step straight through that tree. There's something else I need to do in order to make this truly work. Yeah, basically it seems like the first non-mirrored entry into this place is meant to show us where things are, and then entering the mirror world challenges us to find them in the dark. Oh god, we are definitely going to have to fight something. It's just giving us rocket launchers, for god's sake. Game saved, and what we need to do... Let's open up this, stand in this, and now this thing will attack. Oh, jeez. And we've got to run, 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 right? Yep, you're going to be chasing me. Run, 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 run. Ow. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Oh, there it is again in the distance. Oh. We've got to find that fence, which should be on the left side or the right side. I honestly, I'm so mixed up, I have no idea where it would even be. Problem is, we're gonna keep looping right back into you, and you're gonna keep hurting me. I can't keep this up. Maybe there's... a different way? Okay, we have to come through here. Through here, and now we can start making our way back. This thing is just not gonna stop chasing me, though. Yep. <laughs> I don't know if that was actually it, or if that was just the sign behind me. Oh, right here. All right, let's get through, let's get through. This is the only way out. And you're here as well. Okay, panic rocket launcher shot happens to the best of us. Uh, minigun out. Uh, we'll probably have to exit the mirror world would be the best bet. And there's a whole bunch of you. All right, in here. Uh, nope, in here. Stupid mirror world. Oh! Not what I want to see in the mirror. You're still here. 
Should I be saving my ammo with these lesser enemies? There's still some health around. Let's keep it that way. What are you? Oh, you're one of the... I, I recognize you guys from 2016. Die. Die. Die, please. Oh, you have so much health. Lots and lots of things to kill. Uh, maybe we need to get back out there. Maybe... Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what you have to do. Alright. Grab that minigun ammo. Grab this health. Forget everybody else, although it seems like that may not be an option. I see quite a lot hanging out outside. All of you stand aside, please. Oh, God. Look at all of this. Run, 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 run. Move, 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 move. Oh, it's a bunch of you. 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 Run, 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 run. I feel like I'm moving slower. That was a tremendous amount of enemies. I'm going to pop a save. There was no way I was fighting all that, right? Like, even with rocket launchers... Let's get to the gas station. I'm assuming this is what I was supposed to do, since it's, like, the only safe haven. The only thing we haven't, like, completely explored. And here we are again. I know. I know now that it wants me to come back here because there's health packs here. Gotta get to that gas station. Uh... I see you there. I see you there. Who do you think you are? Yep, all hiding in the bushes. Well, it ain't gonna work on me. Nope, 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 nope. Look at all this stuff coming at us. Whoa. Okay. Well, what a pickle we find ourselves in. Then again, one that the game has prepared us for, it seems. Wait. Are they shooting each other to an extent? Look at all this. Okay. Well, I can play this game. You gonna open for me? No, you're actually blocking the door. Well, if you'll fight each other, I'm happy to let you do so. Oh, it's like a zombie movie playing out right here. Well, it's always in the darkest hour of a movie that you take a moment to reflect. It's almost like the spirit of this person, if that is the explanation we're going with, wanted to turn their own reality into a game of doom. Something that they loved so much. That, please line up. Thank you. Come again. Thank you. Come again. I got plenty of health to use on this stuff. Is this machine working? Uh, sadly not. Oh yeah, no, it actually is. Okay, I'm good. I'm more than good. Let's use a minigun on this back door. Or maybe even the plasma gun. There we are. One at a time, please. Single file. Oh, it takes so much to kill even one of you. You could please die forever. That would be like so cool. All right, next in line. Just rinse, repeat. Plasma gun's actually doing good work on these guys. I'm not sure how many we've killed so far, but the answer is not enough because there's like seven, eight more out front. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five of their corpses in here. At least three more back there. It. This out of ammo for the plasma gun. Whole bunch of things got in that time, but that's okay. Let's try this. Boom. Boom. As long as there's somebody there for it to splash against, it'll do all the splashing it needs, right? Pretty good thing. It's actually the uh, it's actually the health that we're not having problems with. We need ammo, but there's plenty more rockets in the back room. Uh, stop homing in on the on the eye guys. Uh, it seems we can infinitely heal from this machine right here. Ah, a bunch of you have come around the back. Can't open this again though. Maybe the side door. Uh, not quite. Yep, there we go. Just spin the herd. 
Then the herd, and then we can go outside and fight on more even ground. Anyone else back here? Well, I can hear you yelling from the back. And there's a whole lot of you in the air still. Wow, it was not safe to come out here at all, but maybe we can get a bunch of you. All right, back inside, back inside, back inside. It's not letting me. Oh, it's just continuous rockets. Open up, in we go. Heal myself up. And, uh... Die, please. We need to eliminate these things in the air. That's what we need, is to eliminate what's in the sky. Oh, huh, they're shooting back at each other, huh? When we give these things in the sky a chance to fight back, like, they attack each other from damaging each other. <laughs> Listen to this convenience store music while there's just, like, piles upon piles of corpses stacked in front of the door? That is... Ah, oh, that is so doom. Let's survey what's been done. A whole lot of things still over here, but uh, infighting. Whoa, what are you? There's still more infighting going on. Even fighting each other, but the skies are looking a lot more clear. Hello. I recognize you, actually, from Doom Eternal. That's it for you. Switch to the minigun. I have rockets. That's what I'll use for the thing on the roof. I think I've gotten all the pick upables though. Bunch of you hiding in the trees out here. Uh, I guess that's it now. Well, we've got to make this count then. Safest way out's around the back. Hello, sir. Eliminate you. Nobody else shooting at me from those trees. Still some over here. No more use. And let's finally begin taking down Mr. Gas Station. Uh, they'll home in on you, but you're a little bit more elusive. Bet you'll have a lot of health as well. But you're individually not very strong, it seems. What if we respond with a minigun of our own? Will that do anything to you? Just keep moving and shooting. Add a minigun ammo. Plasma. Uh, it feels like it's hitting the lip without actually touching you. But you are finally down, and this station is finally quiet. I guess the only thing I can think to do now is try and find that campfire. Oh, that was so epic. In, in a way, it was actually almost the ultimate Doom experience. Giving us these ammo and health dumps that ordinarily come right before a big encounter or a boss fight. And this is one of, like, the few times I've seen where I actually had to use every little bit. I love those things. I love it in, like, movies and especially in games. When it gives you those moments where it's like, there's no way I'm actually supposed to do this. And then you get into it and you find that not only are you, but you can do this. Uh, hello. <laughs> You're far from home. I guess this one doesn't like violence. See, the thing is, I've been speculating on the nature of this the entire time, whether it's the spirit of the friend or some other presence entirely, but this sort of makes me think more towards the friend. A personal story for us to complete. But also, like, it, this just feels like it was made by somebody who loves Doom. Ah, oh, great. There's a whole bunch of things still out here. Let's just go to... Yeah, it would be on the right. That's where the smoke is. And I can't heal anymore. Thanks for the one-up, Thomas. 
All right, it's dark in there. We know they're in there. Let's just start shooting. Anybody else? Yeah, it's like a pride thing at this point. There's enemies I can run away from, but I don't want to. I want to get you as much as possible. The sound seems like it's starting to glitch out a little bit. And that should be the last of them. This would be a good weapon to take with me into the campfire area. This one's already open. A secret is revealed. <gasps> and a doggy! My doggy, presumably. Okay, I was going to try to pet you, but I probably don't want to try punching you at this moment. But this one's not a set, is it? This one... We've earned our happy ending. S plus A. No longer washed away. We just have to take a peek, no? <laughs> okay. This is real. And I'm starting to wonder if maybe this isn't why the wiki advised me to try and avoid killing either dog. So that they'd be with us here in the end. I guess we can just enjoy this for a moment. And it says that there is no intermission screen to unlock, but the map effectively ends here. So that was myhouse.wad. And I am blown away by this. It was creepy, it had so much lore and secrets to find, Something that seemed so basic at first, but it, it counts on you being fascinated by it. And it rewards you being fascinated by it. Rewards you digging deeper, trying different things. And in the end, it feels like, and this is just my interpretation based on those last few moments, but it, it feels like a love letter to the good old days in general. On the surface, it's a story about friends no longer being able to be together. And in a way, it's like giving closure to those memories. It's like being the ultimate culmination of those things. One last hurrah. The very concept, a modern mod for a retro game depicting the creator's own home... A friend going back to reminisce on the times they had together? And ultimately, that friend presumably speaking through them to complete their work, not only as a form of closure for themselves, but as a means of sort of having one last adventure together in the medium that they always shared. And I guess in this way, urging them to move on and go forward to what comes next. I, I really didn't expect this to be so emotional. But wow, this really is a work of art. It goes to show how when a modding community exists, a game, an engine, is essentially a canvas. A canvas that can still be painted on even 30 years later. I wonder if anyone ever could have imagined such a thing could have existed back when this game first came out. Me from the future here. I've done a little bit of reading, and this is just too interesting not to talk about momentarily. See, according to the wiki, through some real convoluted series of things you can do, it's actually possible to end up at a gravestone, which contains a QR code. Now, scanning the QR code leads to the following image. It appears to be an extension of the same obituary page that we read before on the Google Drive, but this one for Steve Nelson, AKA the creator of the mod, at least allegedly. 
age 35, passed away August 3rd, 2022, actually the same day as Tom. On March 13th, 1987, a joint celebration will be held at the Dwight Olson Center from 12 to 4. A joint funeral with Tom. I'm not going to read this whole thing out loud, but you can pause the video if you want. Uh, after graduation, attended Illinois State and earned a degree in computer science in 2010. Spent the last 13 years working for the Oswego School District as part of the IT staff. It was during this time that he reconnected with a former classmate who would become his future soulmate. They lived together for many years before tying the knot in 2020. He and his partner were both active runners and enjoyed hiking, frisbee, golf, and laying around the house playing video games. Stephen was the most kind, gentle human anyone ever met, and the world is now less beautiful with him gone. Stephen was blessed to have so many people who loved him. He was preceded in death by his father and his mother, Julie, and his sister, Samantha. They both died on the same day. I don't even know how to integrate that on the fly into what we've learned so far. But back to past me. Of course, there were plenty of scares to be had along the way as well. It really felt like you were interacting with some other world communicating through an old game. And I suppose in story, it depends on who you think is doing that speaking that leads you to your conclusion of whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. But in the end, after we pushed through, I'm firmly settled on it is the spirit of Thomas, and this was a good thing. But what are your interpretations? Maybe there was more. Maybe there's other ways to look at this. Maybe there's things that make more sense if you were part of the Retro Doom community. But I'd love to hear about all that in the comments. Until I get to read those, though, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this mod out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.